guys and welcome back to Simple Things Done Right. Today we're going to be talking about fan death. Now I got this idea for Chit Chat Tuesday maybe a week or two ago from Half Blood Pixie. She was talking about how in Korea there's a superstition where they think that if you leave an electric fan running in a closed room with like no open windows that you'll die basically. So she said to me it would make a good chit chat topic so why don't you do it and you know what i jumped at the chance so yeah i've just been having a look into it and it's absolutely crazy things i've been reading i mean there's no concrete evidence to support the concept but like literally they still believe it to this day in korea half blood pixie lives in south korea i believe and she said that people that she knows firmly believe it especially children they think that it's an actual thing and nothing will tell them otherwise I've just been having a little read about it and it says that where the idea came from is quite unclear but they think it dates back to like literally the 1920s or 30s. There's a conspiracy theory about it which you know there's a conspiracy theory about pretty much everything in the world whether Avril Lavigne's been replaced by a... is it Avril Lavigne? Yeah I'm sure it is they think that she's been replaced. Eminem I think they think has been replaced you know when will this stop these conspiracy theories but anyway this cons one conspiracy theory says that they think that the south korean government like created it as a myth for propaganda purposes to try and cut energy consumption of south korea during the 1970s energy crisis but there's people that report that it's like much older than that dating back as far as like the introduction of electric fans in korea which is, well, I don't know the exact date of when electric fans were introduced into Korea, but I know there was an article called Strange Harm from Electric Fans written in 1927. Now, the proposed causes that they think that you can get from this, I'm not going to go into detail about each thing, hypothermia, hypothermia, so two different things, and asphyxiation. Now, one interesting thing I've just read, I'm not sure when summertime is for South Korea. I'll have to ask half Pro Pixie that. Um, but apparently during the summer months, like lots of news articles get released, like reporting alleged cases of fan death. Here's an example from an article in July, July 2011. A man reportedly died on Monday morning after sleeping with an electric fan running. The 59-year-old victim, also only known by his name, surname Min, was found dead with the fan fixed directly at him. Now, 59 years old, it's not that old, but it's quite possible. Well, at any age, you can die of natural causes. Um, it's, it baffles me, it really does. and I can't believe the myth from so long ago is still being like thought of as true. I mean, if you think about all over the world, has there been any cases of that happening? I mean, I kind of understand the concept. If you've got all the windows shut, doors closed, etc. You've got the fan running and it's circulating no new air, basically. But you'd have to be in that room for a very, very, very long time, surely. Not like overnight or something. So yeah, that's all I've got to say on it, really. I just wanted to highlight... Something that I've never heard of before until Half Blood Pixie mentioned it. Did a little reading. It's quite interesting to read about. So if you want to look it up yourself, please do. That'd be really great. Let me know if you find any any other information out that you can let me know in the comments down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked the video. Thumbs down if you didn't like the video. And I've just remembered that we've got to do a little question for the giveaway. So, um. Let's see what the question could be. The question can be, do you have either an electric fan or air conditioning in your home? That's my question. So if you can just answer that down below in the comments, that enters you into today's giveaway. Which, if you didn't see yesterday's video, explains all about what the giveaway is and how long it will be running for. So I'll leave the link to yesterday's video probably at the end of this video, so you can go and check it out if you haven't done already. Thanks for watching and as always, keep it simple.